Hello lovely people, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use Rococo video to extract mocap info from a video file or webcam stream and retarget it to a metahuman. I have done a similar video in the past where I used Plask to do the same. However, at that time there were some obvious issues with it and the most glaring one was jittery frames and sliding feet. Both of these issues induce headaches on the level of last minute flight cancellations I tell you. It is not in your hands but you suffer nonetheless. Fast forward a few months and we have Rococo video. The same functionality but with added benefits of Rococo software assisting us in cleaning up the final mocap, making it smoother and fixing it to the ground. Now a few things before we begin. In order to get the best capture possible, I would suggest having as clean a background as possible, at least directly behind you so that the AI doesn't have to do work too hard to figure out which are your body parts and which are the curtains. Another tip is to have the camera face as straight as possible. If you have the camera looking up at you, then the mocap would have a weird lean, which I'll show you in a moment. And last but not the least, have fun. So with all that aside, let's get started. Go on to video.rococo.com and log in using your credentials. Remember the credentials since you need the same to log in into Rococo Studio Beta software on your computer later on. Once you have logged in and are present on the dashboard, Create a new scene like so and give it a suitable name. So I will just say YouTube test scene, right? Create the scene and it's going to ask you what you need. You can record using a device camera or you can select a local file. Since I have a local file, I'm going to select that. Now what I'm going to do is find the file in my device and just drag and drop onto it. It's going to show the video but with some movie magic, I can blur it for my audience. Not gonna make you people throw up with my performance. And you can play the video to see that the video is correct. If you want, you can shorten it up and then you can turn it into an animation. It's gonna take a while. Until then, you can download Rococo Studio Beta and install it if it's not already done. Once the processing is done and you open up Rococo Studio, with any luck and a bit of patience, you should see a recently added scene section and the scene which you previously created. You can double click and open that up. Here, you need to select what clip you want to play. So on the left hand side, you see that's a new recording one, that's the one which you uploaded. So just double click on that and just scrub the frame a bit to take care of any weird artifacts. And then when you play it, yep, it does a good job of recognizing everything. You can show and not show foot locks, it's up to you. Everything's there, all's good. And if it doesn't look that good and you want to do a further tuning, I think you can try doing it inside Unreal rather than trying it here. So what you need to do is go to the export tab here on the top right and let the format be FPX unless you specifically want to work with BVH. For Unreal Engine, do export with body mesh because without body mesh I think there would be some issues when importing. And for skeleton, you can select anything except Unreal Engine because the Unreal Engine skeleton is a bit messed up. I tried doing it so you don't have to. Include reference pose, that's alright. FPX format ask here binary, doesn't really matter. I'll just go for ASCII. No particular reason to choose the other unless this format actually creates issues for you. And in FPS, initially it's 100 for some reason. I just select 30 because that's easy to scale up and down. By default, I think constant key reducer is selected. Just unselect that. And then you can just select the location where it needs to save. I'll just change the export location. And with that, you can just export the clip. It says done and you can open that folder. I have stored it there. You can just turn and you can close that. Don't need that anymore. Now if you go inside Unreal Engine, I already have a metahuman in the new scene, nothing else. So what you can do here is open up a folder and just drag and drop your FPX file, the one which you exported from Rococo, in here. And it's going to ask you a few things. You want to import skeletal mesh and import mesh. You don't need to select any skeleton because you are going to get a new one. Freshly forged in the small ring fire as a Rococo Studio software. Import animation, select that as a yes. You don't need to change anything else and convert scene is set to true. Everything else is correct, so you just import all. And it should be imported properly. So it's going to give you a skeletal mesh, animation sequence, physics and skeleton. It would be good to open the skeletal mesh just to see that everything looks in order. It's correct. And if you open the animation, you should see the animation sequence playing. 
So that's all well and good. And we just need to retarget it to MetaHuman. Now a few things have changed for MetaHuman from Unreal Engine 5.0 to 5.1. In order to retarget, you just do right click animation and it says control rigor IK rig. You do IK rig and IK rig. So you need to create two. First one from the imported skeletal mesh. Let's just call it Mixamo IK rig, right? Open that up. And in retargeting, it has changed a bit now. So it tells you to add a new chain. Uh, you give the new chain a name. So leg L for example. Okay. It says to add an end goal. I don't need a goal, but you can add if you want. So similarly leg R. Okay. No goal. Let's just do hand L. Okay. No goal. Hand R. Okay. No goal. Head. Okay. No goal. Spine. Okay. No goal. Now you need to obviously define the start and end bones. So for the leg L, we just do the left up leg and left toe base. For right leg, it should be right up leg and right toe base. For hand L, it left shoulder, left hand. For that one, it will be right shoulder to right hand. For head, it should be neck to head. For spine, it should be spine too. That's it. Do not forget one more thing. It says retarget root none. Select that to be the center bone, which is generally hips or pelvis. Don't do the reference. That goes to the ground, which you don't want. You want to retarget at the hips. So right click and set retarget root. Save that and you're done here. Open it again, go to animation, IK rig, IK rig. Choose the meta human for the IK rig because you need that as well. So this is MH IK rig. Open that up, create new, give it the same name so that it's easy for the engine to figure out what's what. So again, the retarget root, just set it to pelvis. For the leg, if you just, that's tie L to ball L. For R, it's tie R to ball R. For hand L, it's clavicle L to hand L. For R, it should be clavicle R to hand R. For head, it's neck 1 to head. And for spine, it's spine 1 to spine 5. That's it. Save that and you're done. Now you have two rigs. One to target from and one to target to. So what you do is, you right click, you go to animation, IK rig, IK rig targeter. Select the source. So your maximum IK rig is the source. And just say custom retargeter. Open that up and if you come up you just see a mixamo one and if you go to the details in here it says source we just select the target go there and select the one which you created do not use this one i think this one comes pre-built with metahuman and i'm not sure what's in there i would just select the one which you created feel free to experiment if you're a bit more adventurous than i am now both the meshes are in the same place obviously you don't want them in the same place or maybe you do want them in the same place. I mean, in this way, they have made it so that it's easy for you to align the pose, isn't it? That makes sense. But the sizes are way too big. So in order to make them smaller, you can just go into character, bones, and bone size, and you can just make it a bit smaller so that it's easier to select them, something like that. And if you go in a bit closer, if your camera speed is way too much, just go there and change camera speed. 
minus two, your might be four. So you can just change that. And rotation snap settings, minus set to 2.8, which is the least. You can select whatever you want, feel free. And when you're here, it tells you the default pose. So what you can do is create a new pose and just call it MetaHuman T pose. And now it has changed to that. So now you can go into edit mode. And here you can start editing the pose. Oh, sorry. So, okay. If you click on a bone and it doesn't move, typically it means you have selected the wrong bone. Don't worry about it. Click again until you see everything light up. In which case then you can start moving it. So yeah, don't worry too much. Okay, I just need rotation values so that I can replicate it. So 53.44, similarly on the other side, 53.44, cool, let's just align the legs, okay, I just select this line so it selects everything, which is good, so minus 2.81, similarly here, minus 2.81, Okay, the legs are aligned, cool. If I look from the top, I need to align these. So just select that, okay. Minus 33, that looks good. Click that, minus 33, okay, and the hands. So probably select that circle or that one. Okay, that one, which selects all the fingers. And I rotate them, minus 19, cool, looks good. Same here, that big sphere, minus 19, cool. And now if I look, it looks about right, right? So anything else, you can just take care of it. Come out of the edit mode, select your meta human, and it says target mesh offset. That gives it a bit of an offset, so we don't have to worry too much about looking at both of them superimpose. And now when you go to asset browser and select on the animation, you should see the animation targets perfectly. Cool, right, so that's done. So you save that, close that, and now what you need is the animation sequence. Right click that, I'm going to retarget animation, duplicate it. It says which retargeter to use, the one which you created obviously, the custom retargeter. Prefix, just call it MH custom or something, and then whatever else you name it. Where do you want to store it? I want to store it inside imports as well I guess. So retarget. Once you do that, you're going to see the metahuman one. Uh, so that's the one. Open it up and you can see a metahuman doing the same action. Don't worry about the hideous mesh and you can then directly use it to run this metahuman. Okay, so this is a metahuman which I've already created. I have given it a hammer and a tong already. So it looks like it's hammering something. But so I go into content, into the sequence folder. I just right click, create a new. It's not in animation anymore. It's in the cinematics now. Level sequence, let's just call it LS test one drag and drop it into the scene, open it up and track metahuman. That's the one. Right, save that, don't worry about that, delete the control rig. In the body, go to track, animation, you remember the name, so it was animated into custom I guess, yeah? So now if you play, yep, it works. So you see the arms clipping and all. And you can also see that it's leaning a bit weird here. As I told you before, it's because of the way the video was taken. So anyways, to fix this, you can bake it to control rig and edit it however you like. In order to bake it to control rig, go into body, right click, bake to control rig, and aha, you don't see anything here. Now, the thing is it's not broken. What you need to do is, you see this, the filter asset by skeleton option, just uncheck that. And now when you go into bake to control rig again, you see all the options magically appear. So it's meta human control rig, just do that, create, and now you have everything baked into it. Huh? Okay, just delete the animation and it's all back to one place. And now in order to make the changes, what you can do is in control rig, add a section which is additive so it adds in another rig right and for this control rig what you can do is from here first let's change the way it's leaning
so probably from here right what we can do is select that or wait is it this part okay something like that and let's just keyframe it so what will happen is and save that so that it doesn't crash so now okay now he's leaning a bit better right but the head is all wonky so where does the head go here so what the head needs to be is uh, da -da -da -da. are you the one okay uh, uh, okay like that you can keep that So now what happens is, yep, oh uh, right. So you get the general idea. Uh, so then you can start playing around with that and that's how you get your video into the animation. That's it. Do let me know if it was helpful to you and don't forget to leave comments if you have something in mind which you would want me to make a video on. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.